our two early birds. Who's our two early birds today? Come on, who is it? Who is it? Let me see if I can find this. Hi. Hello, hello. Oh, three. We're up to three. Yes. Oh my god, it is so hot back here. <clears throat> She's a little warm in it. Can you fix that? I hear Whoa. it blowing. I may need to. Oh no. Yeah, we need to go check it. Oh no. Hey Amanda. How you doing? Okay, can you put the dusty wall? I found it. Hey Celeste. Yeah, it's oh. Up there. oh no. I, I don't know what I probably have to unclog it or something. That affects the temperature. Well, if it doesn't, if it can't kick on. Yeah, it just circulates. It's not actually cooling. You know what I mean? Uh, I thought that's just. I don't know. I need to go check to find out what's happening. Yay! Hey, Tim. What size is that dusty ball? You can put it back on the mannequin side. It is a size. Fiona! I don't know. It's been cut away. Cut away, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Hey, Angela. There's a style number. Is it a size XL? It is. Yes. Okay, well, these people have theirs in it. 30. I don't know if it's that much. Hold on. Side. Okay. Side. In. It's dry. All right, so now we're at to 10. Yes. But we need the little mannequin for sure for that Missoni dress. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> pretty sure. Hey, James, you're not late at all. Nobody's ever late. Twin gremlins. Wait, do we have gremlins? Who's got gremlins? I will love them, force them, and feed them all night long. My grumpiness scale is not very grumpy today. I'm good. Was I grumpy yesterday? I may have been. Was I? Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to be. I was stressed out. I had many stresses. Oh no, what? They're about to break something. Something's broken. Oh, oh, James, I got it. I got it. I got it. Amanda, don't tell Amy. Why? Don't tell Amy what? What are you doing? Who's not telling Amy what? I don't know. Fiona said Amanda, don't tell Amy. Oh, about the high bid. You right. Don't tell me. I'm not trying to do some high bidding. We're not to, today. We're trying, to, we're trying to do some high winning. Y'all play Powerball? You better play. Mega millions, man. We have to go in all together and say if one of us wins, we're going to help out the rest of the group. <laughs> I mean, what's a cool million between friends, right? I mean, if you're winning 800 something, yeah, that's... That's one. Hey, Jacqueline, how are you? Why? What's in the auction? Oh, no. Is it, pack, is it shipping supplies? Fiona said I'm going to lose my mind. It's shipping supplies. Nuh uh. What is it, no, Fiona? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not in a position to get any more auction items. Thank you very much. Well, don't, never say never. Never say never. 
Gracie. Hello, hello. I got a oh. whole closet full of clothes, shoes for three dollars. I'm just hoping for one good thing. There's a couple of men's suits, but I'm not sure on brand. Oh my goodness, that's well, awesome. We're here to help you with the suits if you need it. Yeah, Dan will help you. I won't. Yeah. No, I will. Yeah, you will. I always do. What's up, Mary? What's selling? Nada. <laughs> we're in a bidding war over plush right now. I don't know if it's a bidding war. It's not an auction, but like this guy's counter offering, and then we're going back and forth. The plush is worth $150. I'm not having it. Not and we have. just looked at it two days ago. It's worth $150. So $95 ain't going to cut it. Nope. When you know how much something's worth, because like all the sold comps are exactly that. I, I'm sweating. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, let's do a virtual handshake. We win $850 million if you're on here right now. How many people are on here? How many here? people are on right now? 16. Ooh, that's I will right. give you a million dollars. That is a lot of people. Check in. 16. Check. <laughs> <laughs> all, all 16 of you. We bought 30 tickets or something. You better comment right now. <laughs> you better just solidify your place. Million dollars, I'll give it to you. <laughs> That's what you get for being early, you know. Sometimes you win. Sometimes. I'm hoping Karma was like, yes, you win. I told Dan if we went, I'm just gonna like. We're just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk just out gonna... of my house. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna. We're each gonna grab a cat and we're just gonna leave. <laughs> we can say anything. Like, what happened to the hustle couple? Where did they go? I found the size. Yes. <laughs> sneaky Missoni, sneaky. Everyone's checking in. I love it. Yes. That's how you get comments. <laughs> I promise you a million dollars. I seriously will. I'll give you a million dollars. Because when you have 850, well, minus taxes, I'll have like 400 probably. If I have 400 million dollars, I'll give you a million. I'll give you a cool meal. It'd be nice. Nice. I'll buy you an eBay shed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is nice. eBay sheds for everyone that checks in. <laughs> eBay sheds. You get an eBay shed. You get an eBay shed. I'm about to buy the eBay shed factory. Woo. And custom make eBay sheds. Hey, that's not a bad idea, actually. With, like, the exact dimensions you need, with the exact shelving. You just sell a pre-made kit. Remember Sears house kits? It would be like that. Yeah. But for eBay, I'm going to start making eBay sheds, and then I'm going to turn my 400 mil into 800 billion. Shed kits. Shed kits. Dan cannot figure out how this dress works. Lilac Seller's name is Meg? Did I get that wrong? Why did I think it was Meg? Is it Meg? You told me the other day. Sounds pretty right. Yeah, I saw their tiny house kids. Mixed reviews. I got it right. So I have really bad memory issues. Y'all, that's crazy. Um, so names are like the one thing that my brain can do normally. So I'm glad that that happened. I have a little bit of self-confidence. This is cute. Yeah, man. So I, was, I look so hard for this dress. I could not find the actual dress because it's kind of a 20s style, right? Doesn't it give you those vibes? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. mama. This is why we have five different mannequins. Everyone's like, why do you have so many? Because of this. This dress is tiny. Yeah, and you, and you need a mannequin first. Yeah. For this. Yep. Okay, we are actually going to start listing before we win $800 million and just walk away from our house and leave everything in it. We're just going to walk. I don't know where we're going to go. But not know. Dallas, Texas. It's going to be somewhere far, far away. I'll be on the Amalfi Coast, actually, if you want to find me. I have a huge sun hat on and a Prosecco and some charcuterie. That's where you'll find me. Nice. Love it. Oh, yeah. Love Dan's coming <laughs> Damn. I wasn't worried for a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll have six million Italian street cats that we feed every night. Oh, It'll be great. Man. All the street cats. 
we're gonna be the street cat central because we're gonna be the rich ones who have the good food. We'll have all the fancy feasts. <laughs> Very fancy. We'll keep Jeremy and Picnic separated. Yeah. With the cat packs. Yeah. They can come outside, but they Yeah. And then we'll put out all the fancy pieces. I always never had like enough money to buy that for my cats, but I always figured it would look all nice. <laughs> they're like on those like pillows and stuff. Oh man. What are you guys gonna do with your eight hundred mil? Oh, oh. Oh, Amanda got a cha-ching. We have not. We've only sold one thing today. Actually, we sold it yesterday, and they paid today. Yeah. Times are tough. Yeah, it's... I don't know what's happening. This thing is awesome. I told you it was a gorgeous dress. You might need to raise her up a little bit. You know what I think? She's a little tall load. Yeah, where's her head? It's... It's all bent, and I don't know. She's falling off. God. <laughs> yeah, talk about her head like that. <laughs> Boom. What you guys listen tonight? On your last night as poor people. Ugh. I feel like even if you're a millionaire, if somebody has eight hundred million, you poor. Isn't that true? Is it relative? I mean, or are you so rich if you have a million and other people? I, mean, I guess million? anything's relative. I'm just wondering what your opinion was on the matter. Hi, Ciro. Did you want to check in for your million dollars? Late. Hi, Mom. Hey, if we win the Powerball, we're going to give everyone that's here a million dollars. So you're welcome, except you're my mama, so you get two. <laughs> she just wants to have some key ways. <laughs> I, I, got, I got you, Tony. Dan's going to buy you a house in Key West. I'm going to the Amalfi Coast with the cats. Oh my gosh, Amanda just got another sale. That's amazing. James is at 41 sold today only for him. Only listed 90 so far. I need to get about 25 more up. Man, eBay is like not good right now for us. And we, we have been listing. I did all my. What's up, Janice? She's trying to get her millions. Janice will take care of us too. Everybody. Sure. They're like, they're seven and a half by eight, James. The neighbors. I just remember. Did you measure it? Yeah, just Yeah. Are you getting anything on high bed? No, don't even let me go there. Is this shipping to you or is it local? What's what's on it? I have to know. I know, we I have, have to, to know. know. Celeste's sales were terrible the past few days too. See, what is going on? You think that eBay would get it together so that they would make money. That's what I don't understand. Right. Local estate. Okay, cool. We're starting to get into it on the weekends. We just go to estate sales now instead of the thrift because the thrift is really packed on you know weekends and they don't really put much up. But the estate sales are awesome on the weekends. I went to two estate sales and got two bangers. Two bangers. Nothing else. That's how you do it. He got he got two things, so one dollar each, and then each was worth over a hundred. That's exactly how you do it. No, the sweater was worth more. The sweater, the sweater was, was 150. Sorry, guys. It was 10. Oh, I thought you paid one for it. No, I paid 10 for the sweater, one for the hat. So oh, yeah, the hat. Show James the hat. He'll like to see that. It evens out, you know, it averages up. Yeah, show James that hat. Oh, yeah, this hat is pretty sweet. Here, let me go take the computer screen off. It's a orange, orange tab. Um, <clears throat> hmm? <laughs> orange tab, Levi's fitted. Oh, and then Krillin, show him the sweater. He wants to know his sweater. <coughs> Whoa. Uh, okay. The sweater is a vintage chaps <clears throat> made in the USA. This guy right here. With the with that uh, label. Yeah, isn't that hot cool? And the sweater. He walked into both estate sales because I wasn't here, obviously, and um, just joined them. Yep. <laughs> just like, that's cool hat, that's cool sweater. Boom. That's how you know you're getting better at like sourcing. You don't have to sit there and look every little thing up, right? You kind of have a sixth sense. I do wonder what you left behind that. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 See, this is how you can tell this is a, a real Missouri. Yes, because it matches. Everything 
yeah, that's lines like up and it's sexy like, booty dress. Um, can you take the quarter and eighth picture? I did. For okay, cool. cool. I did. I remember. Celeste so found a vintage 70s, 80s Minnie Mouse single stitch tee today. That's great. Awesome. That's nice, but you think a hunch? He has two sold comps on that exact sweater for a hunch. No, so, the sweater I have for 150 Sorry, excuse me. I keep misspeaking. The hat. 150. The hat, I can probably get it 100 for. The yeah. hat's 100 probably. and the sweater is 150 I know it's kind of ugly, but I was surprised too. But there are two sold comps for that exact piece. For 150 in the last 90 days, which is awesome. Yep. Oh, happy birthday, Amanda's kid! Happy birthday! Goodbye, oh, poor thing. Oh no. Uh, what's the number? Fifty-six, fifty-five. What do you remember? Falling off of my bike. Anyway. Do you remember getting hit by a car? I do not remember that. No. <laughs> not even a little Gary. bit. I put measurements indicate size four, but it is a size four. It's a forty euro, so whatever that translates to. <clears throat> You can rely on your first instincts. That's when it's really fun to source. I agree with that. I always second guess, though. I'm always like, what am I missing? There's got to be something else. You know what I mean? <laughs> I spend way too long. Dan's a much quicker shopper than me. What do you say it was? 44? Mm -hmm. 44? Size? Yeah. 40. Oh, 40. small. That was a four. Yeah. <laughs> Italian, right? Italian. It's got to be Italian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have pre-drafted these uh, for the most part. So we're trying to get down on the time for looking things up. It still does take us quite a long time to list. We really need to get a little bit better at it or faster at it, I guess. Sorry. Yeah, do a high bid auction on your channel. It's great. It'd be fun. Let's see, I don't know what this dress is. I had a really hard time kind of describing this dress. It's not a slip dress though, it really isn't. It's a it's a little mermaidy, but not like too mermaidy. I'm put it as mermaid. Okay. Might as well, right? Might as well. Putting it all. I'm doing them all. Except it's not a sheep dress. I'm not doing that. Alright, so I'm hoping that pre drafting these gives me more time to like look over the listing, look over the specifics. Because I've been making mistakes since we've been live listing and we we're getting some returns from it. <coughs> like with I've been listing the sizes wrong sometimes. I don't change it in the title or whatever. And uh, I need to get better about that. Like this is not belted, so I need to uncheck that. Hopefully this uh, works out better. We'll see. I definitely think that's me without tags. Oh, oh. God. Because did you feel the paper tag is like all crunchy? Yeah. And there's no snags in it. The first time you wear a Miss Tony. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like I that's why. Haven't put I it in the bag yet. <laughs> Shush. God. 
now I'm going to change the thing on here. I think this dress is quite expensive. Uh, I, I couldn't find... It is. Man, it's nice. I know. I think I'm going to price it up, but I really couldn't find anything comparable at all. So... And they know what the Sony knows what's up when they're making a neck. It's really nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Oh, maybe change your view back to the old style. I find it easier to see what I'm doing. I do too, Angela, but I'm just like trying to do, I'm trying to get used to it because I know they're going to. See, look at this on Farfetch. This is 860. And the dress we have is way better than that dress. Oof. I know. I don't want to sell myself short because I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. But I also don't want to go under purgatory. Mm hmm. Don't want to do that. I mean, why not though, right? I don't need to sell it. <laughs> Seriously. Right, right, right. I'm trying to talk this out because I don't know how much it's worth. I know that it's orange label with Sony, which is really high end. I know that it feels and looks amazing. Uh, it's a really, really cool style that I can't find anywhere. I think I'm gonna list it for like five hundred bucks, and I still think that's kind of low. And well, then, where, what around where do you want to list it? Like seven fifty ish? Yeah. Go for it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Let that ranch water take you to, to new places. Uh uh. Don't even try it, Mister. It'll be fine. This is a little crooked. Uh, why is it crooked? I can see a floor. Can you like? Is it, there an auto level? It's definitely level? it's definitely the floor. Is there an auto level? I don't think so. There's not where you can like just turn it with your. Thing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You can always come down. You can't go up. That's what I'm saying. And maybe there's someone out there that's just like pining after this dress. Maybe not though. Maybe. What's Gem app? What do you got to go? That's going. See this. This stupid little tube dress is seven ninety five. It's used. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Go for it. Woo! Chris Woo! Be like that was too high, and they're like, well, <laughs> I was wrong. Too high. Let it be known that I was wrong. It's too high, bro. <coughs> Pro tip, don't keyword spam Miss Sony. Why? I don't keyword spam anything, but why? I just, I'm curious. Okay, that's a little better. Let me know when you're ready. I'm right. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. What? I messed up. What did you do? That's the first time I just sent that. I should get this going. Wait, what's anything else? No, right? Yeah. Okay. Fine. What? Um, 
them. I need to make a ticket for them. Anyway. I said bring over. You got to bring over the thing. Yeah. This dress is sunny. Yep. Bro, where's my eighth turn? Where's what? The eighth. I'm I, literally out your face. I couldn't. The what? You want, I can send it to you, but then there's 13 pictures. So I had to. Wait, I only have. Well, how many did you send then? I sent you 12. Uh, I only have the photo room ones. Okay, so some of these didn't photo room. Okay, I see, I see. That's okay. It's fine. I didn't see these. Sorry. Okay, I got it. Okay. Fine. I have one. Another turn. Slightly oh more turned. So I think. Beautiful. I just don't know whether like the full frontal is. Why does this look so blurry? Yeah, I think full front on this one actually is better. You know what would be best? You know what would be best? What? The front back. The front back? Really? That's easy. Why? Because the back is stunning. Like, the back has so much detail in it. But it's okay. It's okay. I hate how the cover photo looks so blurry until you click on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stupid. Why do that? I don't know, but I should have played the skirt out. Ah. <laughs> I should have. Why didn't I do that? I always think of things too late because the skirt is just hanging there and it needed to be like held out. Like, you know. All right, here we go. We're gonna list it for eight hundred dollars. Awesome. I don't know if you can sell. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. But it is really, really nice. Even you kept saying that, and you're a dude. <laughs> so right, that's yeah. gotta mean something. Sudden. Isn't that dress gorgeous? You should see it in person. The photos aren't doing it as justice. Dan did a good job with the photos, but like in person when you can see the drape of it it's it's so good i'm just hoping that someone is looking for this dress you know what i mean because it's so unique to missoni normally their stuff is like a ship dress or their stuff kind of ugly if i'm honest <laughs> it's a little bit plain it just has like all that tacky chevron with colors that aren't great these colors also are really really good i don't know this dress is special i'm hoping other people see it as special we're gonna see if it gets any attention Price it like it's special. I did. Okay, is this right? So this is the bigger one. You mean the bigger one? So you do okay. You see what I'm saying? Do the small stuff on small lady first. So I think that um Yeah, I'm sorry I'm so bossy. I'm sorry. The uh brown. That's small. Let's go to the box anyway. So, so. I can have that number still. This thing's sweet too. Yeah. I think this is worth eight hundred dollars as well. Yeah. We should have spaced these out to fit Tommy's rules. Because <laughs> I'm supposed to say one thing tonight and go to bed. Right. Bye. <clears throat> but this is how we do. We just list all the expensive stuff on one night. Cause Might as well, right? If you don't list it, how's it gonna sell? That's right. So is this, what's his name? Jeremy Scott? Is that this is Jeremy Scott, but this is Moschino from is this the. Pre? I'm yeah, I pre. think it's pre Jeremy Scott. 
<clears throat> love this jacket. This too is very unique. I couldn't find the comp for it anywhere. And I Google image it and everything. And if Google image couldn't pick this up, it's not out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like color blocked. Yeah. So I did make a draft for it and it's called. Um, the way they do these buttonholes at the bottom is pretty sweet. Right? is cool mosquito couture size four 100 percent virgin wool double breasted coat dress jacket italy because i did find some double breasted that you can wear as a dress and i think you could wear this as a dress but then i also see how it says coat dress jacket so mm -hmm. then maybe people are like oh it's a dress jacket oh, perfect and then other jacket. people are like oh it's a dress oh. i could wear that as a dress because you definitely could it'd be yeah. super cute i would i have a price <laughs> at 8.95 y'all don't think i'm crazy you ain't crazy it's <laughs> I wasn't about to drop one. He did too. <laughs> Megan's got kids here. God. All right. Anyway, another special piece. This is the kind of stuff that gets my clock ticking, my blood boiling. You know, because so much of reselling is just like rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and then you get a few special pieces, and you're like, yes! That's almost how you feel when you get, like, a chitin or something. Yeah. Okay, number... Ooh! <laughs> 45.53. <laughs> more dirty language please <laughs> Dan's dropping them all over the place you gotta pick it up it's funny I gotta watch myself okay so this is a woven if they don't have woven I'm gonna flip out okay they do I'm not gonna flip out <laughs> I'm not gonna, gonna do, do what you all think I'm gonna do <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Look at the drape of that. Here, pull that a little bit. Yes, mama. This is stunning. And both of these pieces were in the Y2K girls' room. They were both $10 at the estate sale, listed for $10. Was this $10? Am I, I think, lying? No, this was five. Five. This jacket, $900, was listed for $5. And then Eileen Fisher pants were listed at 40 yeah, I don't know how a five dollar hanger price tag ends up. I, but I'm I not, did I'm not, not gonna ask switch those, it. I'm not gonna ask those questions. You looked at it and you looked at me like I switch it, and I'm like, I didn't switch it. <laughs> I would never because of karma. So they put the at the estate sale. First of all, this estate sale was crazy because there was cops everywhere because the neighbor across the street was really pissy. So then the cops came because he was taking up all the signs. <laughs> it's like a big thing, and then the neighbor ended up hitting one of the employees. Yeah, so there were cops funny. everywhere, and this was like. The one that we did the video on i can't believe people weren't just walking out with like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff second of all the prices were on hangers what kept anyone from just taking the item off of a hanger and putting it on another hanger uh -huh. so we went back the second day to get half price things and this jacket was on a five dollar hanger i know it wasn't on a five dollar hanger the day before because i would have bought it because i love this jacket the day before, remember yep and then it was on a five dollar hanger i did not change it but somebody changed something and put the five dollar hanger on that, and I was like, "Girl, okay, <laughs> okay, you're coming home with us." Right? I did not change the hanger. I would never. I would be so afraid I would get in a car accident or like, you know, something. Yeah. For doing that, I'm so afraid of karma. So oh, there it is. Yeah, this is the US. This is the size four. Where are you? And it also gives me time if we pre-draft and I pre-look up comps to like sit here and describe the item, which I also enjoy doing a lot. So I think it's going to work out for us, even though we're still at 10 and we want to be at 15.
need my tag holder downer. I'm just thinking of it. Um, Come on. I'm having fun in, in person too, so I'm not. I'm not. I do not like the auctions online nearly as much. Yeah, in person I think is is better. <laughs> okay, Megan missed the language. It was good. Dan was actually good. He caught himself. <laughs> hey Susan, how are you? It was it was three quarters of the way out. James says having a conscience sucks. He feels us. Because <laughs> <laughs> believe me, in my everyday non-broadcast self. Oh my gosh, Amanda, you sound like me. I, she said, I was out there on my basketball with Magic Johnson's signature. I really have no clue what I've actually bought at this point. Same. I have to wait till I get my invoice, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I always forget about the fees as well. I hate those fees. So is there a way when we go to do the promoted listings that we can take – like things over, say, three hundred dollars out of the promotions. Um, I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. If I have because I was thinking about it, and those items normally people are looking for them, and I don't need to promote them. Like the teapot, the Raven teapot, I don't need to promote that. Right. Someone's gonna go looking for it. True. Why am I gonna give eBay that like over a hundred dollars? Yeah. For something that a collector is going to try to find, right. I think with this jacket, with the with the um, Missoni dress, perhaps people are looking at least give it a little bit longer. Yeah. I don't promote anything over 100, says James. Okay, so there is a way to do it. Dan handles the promotion scheme, so. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't think there's a reason to promote anything over 100, in my opinion. I feel like that's collector territory or like connoisseurs. Don't you work? Oh. Oh, where's your clicky? Oh God! They're they're out. They're done. Though. No, I got. I have more. No, okay. you get the whole pack. Is they're this guy? Yeah, I know, but I think I have more clickies. Oh. I hope you don't like it when you click. So far, I spent ninety-eight plus the fees and taxes, which I'm guessing will be around an extra twenty. Well, that's not too bad. You haven't spent a thousand yet. <laughs> We've been there. <clears throat> Dan's oxygen machine that we still have. Uh. <laughs> Son of a... I'm so, <laughs> so mad. <laughs> Is there a price you're willing to meet me at? Oh, those kind of questions. Hate that. I sent you an offer. Like, that's my price. <laughs> Is there a price you're willing to meet me at? Well, did you send an offer? How can I meet? Okay. How can <laughs> what, I meet someone what, what if they I didn't? Am... The silver tab shorts, which is fine. Okay. I'll sell them. Had a good deal, but you didn't send me an offer. You know what my offer is? It's the price. Yeah. But like, if you send an offer and then say, "Is there a price you're willing to meet me at?" Then I could negotiate, right? Sure. 
<clears throat> yeah, the answer to that question is sure. Feel free to send me an offer. <coughs> you have your drink? Um, yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to reply. You guys got me going. I'm going to reply. I never reply. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like talking to strangers. Oh. Sure. Send me your best offer. How about that? I'll just put the ball right back in their court. Because mm -hmm. if you want the shorts... I got those shorts at the bins. I seriously would like to do a good deal. Why is she going to come back through $6? Six dollars. <laughs> Sold. And then they're going to put 6 dollars and free shipping in the comments. Right. What you can't do. Right, free shipping. I hate that. Oh, God. I'm like, do you don't know how to eBay. Get out of here. You need to do an eBay rant video. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. How are you? Hey, hey. Maybe I'll announce it tonight off so you guys can let off some steam. I feel like I hold you back sometimes. I don't drink, swear, etc. No, 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 Megan. I'm just joking. No, no, no. We need to be on our best behavior. Yeah, because this, family get, this channel show. is getting monetized any day. Is it really? <laughs> He's joking. I'm like, really? I, I don't have this channel. <laughs> any, I never can check this channel. I don't even know how to log into this channel. <laughs> so I have no idea how many subscribers. <laughs> Dan's got jokes. All right, let's do the picture for this $900 jacket. Yeah. If someone asks for free shipping, I tell them if they can get the USPS to give it to me for free shipping, I will pass it along to you. Yes. Hey, Kevin. Yes, that's amazing. I hate, though, when they send you an offer and then it's in the message with free shipping you know, included free shipping. I mean, I, I don't know. I, what do you want me to do? Counter you lower to include your free shipping? It's not going to work out. No, not going to work. That's not how any of this works. Yeah, we need you, Megan. We need you. Don't take any nights off. How is your head? I know you had a migraine yesterday. Is it feeling better? Sometimes I get migraines for three days in a row. Oh, yeah. What? Said, oh, yeah, that's rough. Yeah. So I was asking. Some other people are like that too, but some people just have one day migraine. I don't always have three days. Sometimes. Nine hundred dollar coat. Everybody yeah. play the Mega Millions and give us all money if you win. Not just us, just everybody in the chat. <laughs> Spread the love. Man, if we just did Mega Millions and we just won, we wouldn't have to be resellers anymore, and neither would you guys. What? What? you invest it properly is that a cool million dollars and you invested it yeah but then what will we do would mm -hmm. we be bored i feel like we'd be bored dan would not be bored <laughs> <laughs> y'all we're doing the downton abbey 3d puzzle okay i know this sounds like the oldest issue ever heard in your life but <laughs> it it's like one of those 3d puzzles but it's the castle we call it manor uh mansion yeah it's the mansion of downton abbey it's, so it's it's the, the abbey it's the actual Abby, excuse me. And it is the hardest puzzle I've ever done. And I've done some pretty hard puzzles. Yeah, the capital one, it's, we have the capital one, and that one says 700 level three out of four. And think, what's the one we're doing? I think like 890. But what's the level? I don't know, I couldn't find it on the box. It's the level be, it's is- It's gotta be master. Very hard because all it's all windows, and they all look the same. So you have to do all sides of this Abby. I can't even tell you how hard this puzzle is, but I've been doing it. Crazy. I've got, I finished step one today. So it was a, it was a big deal. Big, and big anyway, deal. we're doing it because we got it at the thrift store. And so we're going to do it and then sell it. We're going to take pictures of it put together. So people know the piece. <laughs> but it's just fun because we get to do it. Dan gave up. At the, I gave up in the early stages. It was very frustrating. I will be. I would still be reselling. I think so too, James. I'm the same way. 
Ruth says, it's been a long day. I got 11 items listed and sold four items, two Christmas stockings, which were $29.95 each. Christmas in July, baby. Question. Do you have or can you make a spreadsheet that lists popular brands that seem to sell? Is this more like what is selling at the moment type of thing? Okay. Um, Megan did this, actually. Uh, in our group, and it has selfie rates in it, and you can add to it, Kevin. In our Facebook group called, I don't know if you're in our Facebook group. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Called The Hustle Couple Reseller Workroom on Facebook. It's pinned at the top of the group, and it's a list that everyone can add to of things that are selling right now with their selfie rates on a lot of them. It's, pretty, it's a really, really good document. And yes, we could make one, but we are not the best clothing resellers, to be honest. We sell, like, just not that many different brands, right? We kind of niche down a little bit. I don't know how to... What? I know. Not niche down in the fact that we're not selling anything else, but as far as clothing goes, we're focusing our brands a little more on stuff that we're comfortable with so that we know how to listen better. So it's better to have everyone's input to me. And that document's really, really valuable. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? Ooh, this is fragrant. Is it? A little bit. Yeah, and if you have anything to add to it, feel free. It's on Google Docs, and Megan has her own copy, so she said we could add to it. And I'm sure everyone would be really thankful if you have any brands that sell really well for you. I still haven't gotten a chance to because I had to leave town, but I am going to go through it and add our brands to it that we know and love. Just like this kind of situation? Yeah. But pull it down a little more. You can ride high. Yeah, there you go. It's boho. <laughs> Perfect for summer. Okay, so this flat on picture, this one looks better, right? Y'all tell me. Does this look better than the flat one? Yeah. Looks a little more like, hey girl. Because mm. then you can see, you know what I like about it? You can see that like... <clears throat> Curve to see how fitted it is. Yes. Hey girl. Yes. Yes. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Hustle Couple Reseller Workroom is the Facebook group. That's what it's called. Dan can put it in the chat. Who's Alexa Bliss? Oh, God. <laughs> He's trying to make me dress up as something. Who is? Kevin. Oh, Lord. Oh, a wrestler, probably. Oh, Lord. I'm not dressing up as a wrestler. You've got to, mister. Why? I think that's what we're doing for costume day. Who even knows about this, though? Like, what even is this? Do people know about wrestling? All right, $895 coat going up. I got it. Size four. Yeah. Hey, Marianne. How are you? Good to see you. So, do you, James, do you know who Alexa? Oh no, now he's sending me pictures. Oh lord. Girl, I'm gonna have to work out. No, I gotta work out for this. Oh lord. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> Is anyone here a moderator? Kevin's trying to get into the workroom and I'm just Oh, I can just do it. Look at this girl. How am I gonna do this? I'll wear that big belt and then I don't have to work out. <laughs> I just need a big wrestling belt. You just got to put your hair into the pigtails and you're golden. No, people are going to think I'm Harley Quinn. No, that's only if you color them different colors. They're colors. I'm going to just look like Harley Quinn. No, it's just ribbons. No, at the bottom. Look, her yeah, hair is it's reds. She looks like Harley Quinn. No. Uh. All right, anyway. <laughs> this guy trying to get me to dress up as this. I don't know. All right, Kevin, I got you. 
Also, you could start a thread of everyone's favorite brands or something. We don't care. <clears throat> Who's Lita? I don't know. <laughs> I don't watch wrestling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <That'd be> me. <laughs> oh my god. Kevin's cracking up at the rule. We only have one rule. It's worked out so far, though. Knock on wood. It really has worked out. We have had no problems in our group. And everybody else's groups are, like, fighting. Yeah, what's up with that? We don't, well, we, nobody's broken the rules. <laughs> We're trying to keep it really simple. Oh, Lita kills it. Okay, well, I'm supposed to not be Lita. I'm supposed to be whoever I just said. Alexa Bliss. She looks just like Harley Quinn, though, for real. All right. Okay. Focus. Focus. That's what I was thinking. All right, I made a draft for this. A Kimmy Ken. I got you. Yeah, so there's a document pinned at the top that Megan had posted. It's like a Google Doc. It's really good. It's a size small, right? Yeah. Number? 5657. Yes. Okay, this one is swapping out for a medium. Mm -hmm. I just had to get this anthro shirt. See, I don't normally pick up anthropology anymore at all, but this is just. In the video, it probably didn't look that good, but look at this picture. It's gorgeous. It looks like y'all. This is coming home to me. Again, I think this three quarter picture just looks better. No, this is flat on pictures. I'm over them. Although, this one, maybe the flat one does look better here. Get away. <laughs> Mannequins everywhere. Yes, we do. Why? It's, it looks better when it, it fits, I think. It does. Totally does. All right, Mr. Wang, let's go. <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> Ming. Ming Wang, if that is your real name. <laughs> Kevin's cracking up. <laughs> oh, man. If there was a fly on the wall of our house, how we talk all day long. <laughs> we just laugh all day around here. It's good. It is. 
I guess what I'm trying to say is no difference in the lives. It's like the exact same. So. Pretty much. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Listing this shirt for $29.95. It's going to take an offer. <clears throat> All right, the Ming Wang. Here we go. See, having drafts is so helpful because I don't have to sit here and scroll and look. And I also think I do a poor job of that, you know, when I'm trying to multi task. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this Ming Wang fabric is called, but it does really well for us. You know how St. John has Santana knit? Mm -hmm. Whatever the signature knit is, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I'll look it up. I have a little bit of time. Ming Wang Signature Ooh. Knit. Excuse me. They all feel kind of like that, you know what I mean? Let's see. Ming Wang Knits. Our signature knits form the foundation of every collection. I guess I just called it Signature Knits. <coughs> yes, so. You know, I should be looking up retail prices of stuff a little more. I never do. So I should call this signature of knit. I think you should. See, why is this one on thread up for twenty? Oh, it's a three hundred ten dollars situation. Okay, so it's like that. Also, if I wanted to get this basic cardigan, I could get it for two thirty-five. And if I wanted to get this on twenty-seven ninety-nine on thread up, I could. Ming Wang story. Who wants to learn about Ming Wang? Here we go. Our founder Ming Wang created her eponymous brand over thirty years ago out of necessity. The necessity for clothes that perfectly fit her life and style, and the necessity to provide for her young family that had just moved to the U.S. Wanting to always put her best foot forward, Ming immediately noticed a problem. She couldn't find timeless styles that made her look and feel her best in any of the stores she visited. So she put her skills in knitting and sewing to the test and made her own clothes with durable materials and effortless shapes made, her, made to fit a real woman, her, in a comfortable and flattering way. Okay, Ming. Okay. For a while, she's a hustler. They worked hard to make ends meet by crafting and selling her signature knit styles from their New York apartment, all while attending fashion school and raising two sons. Come on. Oh, I love learning about brands. <laughs> and it's sustainable. Each of our knit styles is crafted to last with high quality materials using the full fashion technique that is traditionally applied in hot couture oh man i just every pattern piece is knitted individually eliminating the waste created when using the usual cut and sew technique oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> man she a hustler okay okay come on wing ming wang <clears throat> there's your little uh Story hour, you guys. You're welcome. What's the number on the Ming Wang here? Fifty-six, fifty-six. Sustainable, yes, but it's made of polyester and acrylic, yeah. Yep. Mm, that ain't sustainable. But I guess what they're saying is, besides the fabric waste they're made to last. You know, it's a thick and it doesn't snag and yeah. which is all of that is true. So you can wear it longer, which I think, I think that's true. I'm trying to make excuses for Ming Wang. Yeah, don't do it. I'm going to start oil painting again. I love this. <coughs> that's a great idea, Megan. Have fun.
I need to know if that will go if it's more than two pounds. I know it needs to go quite a little bit. Yeah. How you measure your sleeve length on a men's button up? Sure. Um, okay, can you hand me a? It is 12.4 ounces. Oh, so we can ship it first. We can yeah. ship it first class. Can you hand me a dress shirt real quick? Just that Robert Rodriguez one right there in front of you, white. Megan's awesome. We love her. She looks out by you, Ruth. Okay. Here's your dress shirt. Oh, wait, no, she lives in Idaho. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. That's okay. This is for Jill. <clears throat> okay, and you measure your sleeve from from right here, from the, from the middle of the back, the center of the back. You take your tape measure, and you measure from the center of the back to the shoulder seam. Okay, this is, you want to, not on the hanger, you want to do it laying flat. Okay. So you measure from the center of the back to the shoulder seam, and then you mark that. Normally like 10. <clears throat> yeah. Nine and a half, 10. Yeah, somewhere between 9 and 10. And then you measure from the shoulder seam down to the cuff. To the bottom. To the edge of the cuff. Yep, all the way to the, to all the, way to the end. And then you add those two numbers together, and that is the proper sleeve length. And it will be somewhere between like 32 and 37. Yep. When you add them together. 32 is a short, 34 to 35 is a regular, and then 36, 37 is getting into long territory. Yeah. And that, on most most men's dress shirts, you'll have two numbers as the size. You'll have uh, a neck size and a sleeve size. And the sleeve size most often is two, like two numbers. It's 32 slash 33, 34 slash 35, or like 36 slash 37. And then the neck will be first. It'll be like yeah. 16 or 16.5. Yeah. So an average dress shirt is like 16.5, 34, or 35. Yeah, that's like a large. Yeah, that's yeah. what like most most dress shirts that we find at the thrift are like that. They're a 16 and a half neck and a 34, 35 sleeve. I just like to tell people that so they like when they do it, they're like, is this right? Like, is this number even sounding a remotely correct? Because we haven't measured a lot of shirts, <clears throat> yeah. no. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Ming Wang. measured length. I think it was 24. Yeah, 25. <clears throat> you bring the air further back here. Hopefully we can get this whole rack listed this week and then go to a state sale this weekend. What? No and then. 
Don't you think? Yeah. And fill it all up again. Yeah. <laughs> you is cute, Ming Wang. I think these like three quarter pictures are giving us, you know, unique vibes. Okay, okay. In the eBay space. All right. <clears throat> I had this at 84, I'm putting it at 84. I dropped it down, but I'm not going to do that. Don't do I, that. I mean, Don't good. do that. Well, it's like it's kind of wrinkly, but once you put it on this mannequin, it looks better. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now I feel like <laughs> Tomorrow will be better. I always say this. But, you know, I can just like focus tomorrow. I'm so worried about going to the doctor and all that stuff today. Okay, let's do this one better than the last one. What was there? The last one was too open. Yeah. It's like a double knit, but it still got a little wrinkly, didn't it? <clears throat> nice. Oh. Oh. Just take a picture of it. There's nothing else we can do. Yeah. You're going to die. You're no, gonna... that was the other piece. That was <clears throat> the two piece. Ah. Foiled again. It's not that bad, but. Should we try baby wipe? It's definitely sun bleach, right? Mm hmm Yep. There was no windows in that closet. Oh, her house must have faced south. <laughs> Dang it! And that was all wrinkly. This looked terrible. No, you can't even see the wrinkles in the pictures. <clears throat> can't even see them. It has a sunspot on it. Ugh. Stupid sunspot. Dang, and this one is silk. Silk cotton. You should be able to dye it. This one's not silk. Oh, is this not it? No. This one was silk and cotton. <laughs> yeah. Totally, totally the one. Yeah, you said you could dye it if you wanted to. I got it. Should I try to dye it? Yeah, why not? Is you gotta boil it. Hey, my favorite. <laughs> what should we have to dye that? <sighs> Somebody trying to hire me for a job right. that I'm gonna say no to. So, to uh, abort mission? On I this? think you should abort the mission. I mean, I'm only listing it at 60. It's not that bad, right? It's not. Should I try to dye it? You know what? I'm gonna be about to be working at the costume shop. There's the dye vat. I can dye it there way easier. We can take all the stuff and I'll dye it all black at one time. Right? Yeah, let's try it. I'll try to dye it. Oh, God. Worst. I did a tea and everything. Yep. Huh? Yep. And then it's, it's, I'm never going to remember that. Nope. Well, why are you putting it there? My computer hasn't been on the whole time. Hey. I just noticed. Hey. I'm so, you guys didn't say anything. Come on. All right, Desi Guo, let's do this. We don't know. Yes, we do. There yep. it is. Yeah, hiding in the shoulder. Oh, was it? What size? Extra large. Oh, yeah, you're at 20. We do. Please, no, 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 no. 
Oh, I almost died and heart attack. I, I knew I was, it wasn't going to go. I wasn't going to force it. You, you look like you were, you were like grinning and bearing it. You had batten down your hatches and everything. Oh my God. He almost ripped the barb through the knit. I was like, no. In slow motion, screaming silently, but aloud. All right, I need one more thing to look up while I do this, because, you know. I could, oh, I that, I could buy that um, tool. What tool? The snag tool. Well, let me see if I can, as soon as we turn on the computer, I'm not back up. Come on. I'm still wondering about this sweater, whether I should try to dye it. Yeah, nothing's flowing for us either, Tommy. We sold one thing today, and it was not even something we sold today. It was something we sold yesterday was paid for today. James is, is having issues, too. He's having blockage. Tommy's talking about his bowels. Oh, jeez. He's blocked up. Okay, we got a little, we got one pole in the back. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Do we think I need to fix it, or can we just note it? I think we can just note it. Right, we got one of the sleeves, too. Yeah. There's a couple of poles on that. Okay. I mean, what that's, is this? That's gonna happen though. This thing's so delicate. Huh? What is what? Schmutz? What is that? What, what is that? It's schmutz. Oh. Who's gonna list his baby as is? got some cool, it's got some issues, but it was so pretty, I couldn't leave it there. Yeah. Same with this. Like you can't, you wear this once anywhere and you're going to get pulse. It's just right. going to happen. <clears throat> yeah, I think I will dye it. I have a couple of things that have that sun bleaching on them that are Eileen Fisher, and they're nice. So I'm going to be working at a costume shop in the next couple of weeks, and they have a dye vat there, which is like a big cauldron. <laughs> Literally, it looks like a witch's cauldron. Sweet. And it boils the water, and you can throw a bunch of clothes in at once. So if I just gather a bunch of the stuff that has stains over the next couple of days, I can take it there and dye it all black at one time. And I can also use the vat to salt, salt it so I can seal the dye. It's all good. Might as well try. Mm hmm Experiment. So we're trying to get this whole rack listed this week so that we can go to more estate sales this weekend. And that's kind of our new workflow, which is great. Yeah. I mean, we're spending more at the estate sales. Which is not great. No. <laughs> but uh I think we're netting better stuff. I do too. And it's less it's less uh work on that end as far as like thing's hard work. Yeah. Yeah. And we're making connections, which I think is the point that we we're gonna talk about in a video, but we haven't. Making connections is huge. For sure, yeah. Because the people at the auction start to recognize you, and then you get better deals, and they call you, and things like that happen. And that's yep. like, that's the golden zone where you want to be. Totally. Yep. And you can't make those connections if you don't go regularly. So we're trying to make it a point to go regularly. Mark is lurking. Hi. Hey. 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 <laughs> You're having a hard time too, Mark? Oh, man. 
Uh oh. Joe's stirring up some ish in the chat. Right on. There's another live going on right now. She says the information is suspect. Uh oh, suspect information. We have no comment because we can't watch it because we're here working. Oh, that in and of itself is kind of a comment. Yeah, but we didn't listen to anything all day, so. Yeah. Not to say we're harder working, we're just later, we're just procrastinators. <laughs> so. This had a lot of fuzzies and dog hair and stuff on it. Fabric tag, 85% viscose, 9% polyester, and 6% metallized fiber. That's the metallic. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Embroidery and applique. And like somebody has one listed for 30. I might list ours higher and then just... 30? Yeah, I know, here. and it's the same size, so I might just let theirs try to sell off. Yeah. Crossless ours, maybe there's a good crossless. I don't know. All right, this poor sweater has seen better days. Oh, yeah. But it's so pretty. I don't <laughs> care. I'm still going to rescue it. Sweater rescue with Amy. Yeah. I'm not going to fix the holes on it. I don't have the right tool to do it in this kind of a thing. Should just order it though, huh? It's called like a pole snag snag attack. Snag, <laughs> snag attack. That's what I should have called it. Oh gosh, my sales have I have stayed awful to eBay and like to Poshmark this month. No. Whoa. No 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 no. Amy, tell Dan I just showed my Schweiz. They got Steiger jersey. Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger jersey. Excellent. What'd you get for it? That's Krillin. What'd you get, Krillin? I am so thankful for this live. It keeps me out of all the other lives. There you go, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that was like a reverse not compliment compliment. <laughs> Yeah, any day Poshmark beats eBay, I know something's up. Poshmark four ninety three yesterday and eBay was two eighty seven. Nope. Yes, no. Mm -mm. Were there lives all the time? I was not in the live community. I'm still not. I mean, what can we do about eBay? You know what I mean? Like, we're listing some of the best stuff we've listed in a while. And it's it's not even getting any attention or, like, you know, normally when we list good things, meaning that it has a good sell-through rate, it that kind of a – that's what I mean by good. It's not subjective. Like, things that are selling, when we list things that are selling, normally right after I list them in the next morning I get up and there are a ton of views and watchers. Yeah. And I send out offers on all the new stuff. And that did not happen the last couple of days. And we've been listing bangers. So I'm like, hmm? even if I overprice it, they'll still watch it. And no one's watching, like, at all. Most of the stuff we're selling is people just buying it straight up. I, I don't, like the Eileen Fisher fan. I don't know. I don't know. They sent an offer. They sent an offer on those. All right, picture's coming. Okay. Okay, I think that's it for Mannequin. We've lost. These people are still here. We've lost them. <laughs> what we lost? Tommy and Tracy and Philly and everybody. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Wait, no, 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 no. Friend. What? I guess we could do this flat. Oh. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, we're just somebody else's life. No, they stopped doing lives. Oh, right. Okay. Three hundred a day, I'll be living in Krillin's basement. 
if you can find room. He said his basement is pretty full. See, this is the problem with this with this shirt. You cannot tell if he's not like. Brighten it, you know? Is that weird? Kind of looks like that. You can brighten all these. Oh. See, and then you can tell it's metallic. Okay. Yeah. Jim and the holograms. Well, we'll see, because eBay won't save these edits. Got to get your shirts out of here. God. They're both too long. I need my searcher. Just... Right. You got one. Three men in it. Yeah, that's true. You got to keep plugging away. But, I mean, we're doing the same thing. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just, you know, as long as you're listing. If you guys aren't listing, then I can't help you. But you got people with actual skin in the game selling 100% sell. You have both people telling you. So Tommy's selling things with 100% sell through rate, basically. And James has enough volume, more volume than all of us combined. And if they're having issues, it's Something's not your up. issue. Yeah. Right? It's nothing personal. That's why I like having like a range of people to look at. Okay? Because yeah. maybe my stuff's just not good enough, right? But if Tommy's not selling his shoes that have a killer selfie rate then something's wrong or if james isn't selling anything right with thousands and thousands and thousands of listings something ain't right something is not right and it's not a conspiracy or whatever you know it's just <laughs> it's what it, it's just not right The number on the sweater and the weight and everything. You can't go ahead of me. <laughs> five six five eight. Eleven and a half pounds. Cool, 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 Phone out of battery. Why? Oh, wait. There are some snags. Did you take pictures of them? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. Sorry. They're small. Come on, color. Better be looking rich. Okay. When editing an item, what do you recommend? Relist or sell similar? Okay, Tommy Gun come up in here, guns blazing, and I agree with him. They do the same thing because they give you a new number, relist and sell similar. You get a new item ID or whatever. But if you sell similar, it messes with the quantity. So if you have a multi-quantity listing, you are going to want to use the relist feature. I happen to use the relist feature because it's easier for me in my workflow. Even we don't really have anything that's multiple quantities for the most part. But we do have some. Not many. Both sell similar and relist look like a brand new listing. Both. Both. Confirmed. It always bounces back. You gotta have faith, Ruth. There's a lot of misinformation out there about relist and sell similar. And connection. As long as it gets a new ID, item ID, it's a new listing. Period. Full stop. We've cleared it up. Nice pin pattern. I know. Just 
has some pretty gnarly snags. I do need you to take pictures of those. Okay. Do you call this gold? Gerd? Gerd! <laughs> <laughs> some people are calling it brown, but it's like better than brown. It's, I mean, it is better than brown. <laughs> But Sienna, I... oh it's Sienna right here, right here, fifty nine ninety nine. Oh my God, good thing you didn't put on the mannequin. It is see through on this mannequin. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> Y'all don't look at this screen. Oh my goodness. Get away, get away. I'm just trying to be clear because I'm sorry for the bad shot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just left it out there. I was like, don't look, and then I don't left it. Don't look, out. just leave it scroll or something i was Dang. i didn't i was looking at the comments uh -huh. i'm just trying to make it clear because there was a ton of misinformation out there on youtube about d-list and self similar and i'm just like y'all just stop okay size what mm -hmm. medium? medium okay so there's no Sweater here. Pima cotton table knit sweater. Oh, sweater. Funny <coughs> <laughs> stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Uh, your listings do carry over to the next month automatically on eBay. Uh, and so it does cost you a listing, which is why we pretty much recommend everyone get a store so you don't have to worry about insertion fees or whatever. It's seven bucks or whatever it is. It's like, you know what I mean? The basic store. Yeah. Oh, I can't even drink. I keep going. There's like some kind of desk or something in here that I need to snag to don't forget. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Wow, that's a really, really great point. E, are you Aaron? Are you who's E? Erica? I'm just gonna keep guessing. Names. <laughs> I don't know why I think you're a woman. Maybe you're a man. Maybe you're an Eric. When so many companies are selling their inventory at discounted prices, I feel like it's hard for resellers to compete right now. I have seven retailers in my inbox offering forty to seventy percent off at the moment. That's insane. So it's not like Facebook. If you guys don't do eBay a lot and you're used to Facebook, you do not have to relist your items. We're talking about relisting items that haven't sold. eBay automatically relists every 30 days, but it's the same to them, right? So when they automatically relist it, they're just refreshing it for you. If you relist it using their relist feature, you can edit it and relist it and it gets a new item ID and it's just like fresh to new eyes. And we, Dan and I recommend changing the title, moving your photos around because it didn't sell for a reason. So like trying to just hit the relist button is not as effective of actually going in and like figuring out maybe, maybe some of your, I'm ready. Maybe Sorry. some of your specifics, what? They're coming. Okay. You know, your specifics aren't right or you have a mistake or your photos could be better or your title's all wacky. Fix stuff and then relist it if it hasn't sold. We normally start relisting after three months. Some people do 90 days. I mean, duh, Amy. <laughs> some people do less than that. We do 90 days. So today I was caught up. I looked at my things and I only had like five things that were not less than 90 days old. So that was great. I only had to relist five things. And I could spend more time on them and really make them good. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. We're all just trying. What's the number? On the sweater? <coughs> five, six, five, nine. First.
Erica is correct. Yes. Shoes are the same way. Asics, Brooks, New Balance, Reebok, Puma, Adidas have eBay stores. They sell brand new items for pre-owned prices or cheaper all the time. Oh, that is stressful. Okay, listen it. Uh-oh, we're doing the big one, the big boy. Yeah, why not? $150. Hopefully. You made a draft? Yeah. Scotty. <clears throat> Am I not in draft Scotty Cameron Hothead Circle T. You gotta change the hothead though. What do I change it to? Um Just a peace sign. Peace sign, circle T. I don't know what I need to say. I don't know what circle T was. Mm -hmm. okay. Peace sign, Lua. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I mean about SEO, you guys. If you're looking at my screen, or if you're trying to learn anything, just if you're not, tune me out. Men's medium, Peter Millar. Like that's not how you want to do this, because the the most powerful thing in your listing is the first words. So men's medium, it's <laughs> just not going to cut it. Nah. What size is this, by the way? Medium. Men's medium. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to take Peter Millar. Now, is now this is what you have to consider. It's a Peter Millar crown East polo, right? I don't know. It, it doesn't, no, it doesn't have a line. It's not a summer comfort or a crown sport or, wait, wait mountainside. Mountainside collection. Mountain side. I'm just gonna say, is it one word mountainside? Yes. Okay. So I think maybe Scotty Cameron is the better word to put at the front of this. Scotty Cameron, Peter Millar. Because do you think that the I don't Peter know. all the other all the sold listings were Peter Millar first? Or the ones that I looked up. Anyway. Well, okay. Anyway, we're gonna put Peter Millar, Scotty Cameron together. Yeah. And then we're gonna put the sides. Yeah. Mountainside polo shirt. We should put green in here somewhere. Peace sign. <clears throat> I think selling Y2K items is a pretty safe bet right now. That and Pearl Snap shirts are the only things I'm really selling. That's interesting. Or Y2Ks, I'm just not good at Y2K. I think it's because I don't like it, and so I'm not into it. We did just list two Y2K things, and we have the juicy things to list. Mm -hmm. Although, they're not in great shape, and I'm kind of worried about that. Anyway, um, what's the number on this guy? 5660. We're listing this guy for $200. And we had a master shirt one time that was Peter Millar that went for just about that, too. So it's not unheard of to spend for people to spend two hundred dollars on a polo shirt. Yeah. So while some people are struggling, <clears> other <throat> people aren't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they just aren't. They have like more money than they know what to do with. So I'm I'm gonna sell my stuff to those people. Hopefully. Hopefully. No flaws. No. Hey, Erica, I will try to remember that. I hope this sells. What are we on? Scrubs after this? Yeah. Sweet. Nice. Finishing out with scrubs quickly. One of these nights we gotta do shoes. Or maybe a weekend we can do shoes. Yeah. They're pretty quick, you know? Take it for this thing. To be fair.
fair, we should be looking at estate sales on Fridays. Don't they start on Friday? Or sometimes Thursdays? Usually they start on Friday, yeah. Sometimes Thursdays, though. I should look at them ahead of time. Uh, scope it out? Yeah. We're not experts on this by any means, y'all. We'll be learning. <clears throat> make it back. Make All right. It back, make it back, make it back. I'm hoping that some of this stuff, you know, Q3 comes in pretty strong. Yeah. Because back to school and then Q4, hopefully the resale market's does better than the retail market. I don't know. <clears throat> Just don't know what's going to happen. Nobody knows. Nobody! <laughs> oh. Circle T. You can, you can put that back in. I don't know if I can fit it. If you, can, if you can. So take out peace sign? No, I would leave peace sign. Take out mountain side. I don't know what mountain side is. It says it's the mountain side collection shirt, Peter Millar. I don't know how if that's any different. I mean, it has to be some sort of a line of theirs, but I'm not familiar. Not familiar. <clears throat> Peace, circle T. Sure. Get anything else? Hello, hello. $200 polo shirt. You know, that's crazy. It is crazy. I hope somebody does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hope, hope, hope so. I'm gonna get the steam hooked up to the dryer. What do you think about that? Yeah. When we get the bathtub hooked up? Yeah. Pretty sure Armando can handle that. Yeah. This shirt is avocado green, let me tell you what. It That's looks right. Like avocado. <laughs> mm. Avocado. Mm. <laughs> So you wanted that the sleeve picture in the first one, right? I think so. Let's give it a shot. Okay. It's a little dark to me. I'm just gonna get a little love. Just a little sad. Speaking of sad, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, they're looking a little sad, but you know. In the pictures, they'll be fine. Exactly. We're, we're learning this, that like the darker fabrics, I mean, the wrinkles just don't show up as much as they do in real life. So, like, is the, so for figs, they're going to sell because the sell through rate is incredible. Is the value out of me steaming each figs? There's no value out there. Nope. Because the sale price for these is like 25 bucks. Yeah. Draft of this? Bro, you didn't even draft. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? What are you talking about? The Scotty Cameron one? Yep. You didn't tell me to do a draft of Yeah, you. this was yours. Remember, I was doing the other pants and I did the shirt and then you were supposed to do these. You must have just lint rolled them. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I, I misunderstood the assignment. 
What's happening here? There's no rule. What? There's like... What? Nah. -uh. Like discoloration. There's, you gotta get a dime? You see that? Yeah, what is that? No. Oh, they're bad. Dive pile. Are they? Are they like? You know what I mean? Like you wish them one way, mm -hmm. wishy wishy. No, they're not wishy wishy. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, those are thrashed. Would people that thrash things stop donating it to the thrift store, please? Something done happened in these. Some. I'll put on the dive pile. Let's send some aggressive offers. Let's get ridiculous and send 2% more than the standard. Man, this is sketchy territory. Who are you? What are you watching, Tommy? What are you talking about? This man is just talking like we watch him when he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching? Send 2% more than the standard. Is that one messed up? We're about to find out. Oh, this one looks good to me. Looking better. I was all looking. I went to the doctor today. I was all looking at their scrubs. <laughs> 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 Of course you were. What kind of scrubs y'all wearing? That's funny. They were in the jogger type, but theirs are made right by Cherokee because they were in what do you call it, embroidered from Baylor. Oh, okay. Yeah, Baylor ain't they? They skimping from mm -hmm. the cheapies. The cheapies. <laughs> <coughs> but Bro Dog, he wear figs. Does he? Mm -hmm. Of course he does. Oh, you're Tommy making fun of himself. I see. <laughs> I always send 12% offers, so I went nutty and did 14. Whoa, oh. whoa. See what happens. 14. So we put on, I do, that's all you do. Man, that must be a nice episode where that's all you have to do. <laughs> so we have a 15% off sale running at all times, and then I send offers on top of that all the time, like aggressive. Yeah. Send very aggressive offers, even when things are not slow. Because I don't want to hold on to it. I just want to move this stuff. And we're not selling anything that's like super, oh super fast flip. Right, yeah. Our stuff is, is good. It's much better now than it was. But nothing like it's going to sell in 20 minutes, that kind of a thing. Number fifty six sixty one. I'm going to draft if we're going to get ten. Erica said some hospitals limit the color staff can wear, so navy is a good color. I know a nurse that had to wear only navy scrubs. Wow. Okay. We're in Cherokee. They're definitely going to get canceled. <laughs> Gotta let them know and hand them the QR code to your eBay thing. Hey, I made a coupon today. I only sent it to my person, but I did make a coupon. <laughs> That's right. It has a QR code on it. I was trying everything. I was getting desperate. Ten dollars off fifty. I feel like that's good because people will buy like a higher dollar item. It was ten dollars after every fifty. After every fifty, you buy all the all the 
It was That's 20%. 20%. Yep. I said 20% coupon. But if you do 20% off something cheap, it's different. It hits different. Oh, yeah. I was trying to get some like good sales going. Right, yeah. I do a 10 to 15% sale all the time as well. Also run a 10% store coupon. So I have to beat the coupon by a little bit to entice them. Yeah, I just did. I just did my coupon. First time we using a coupon today. That's how bad things are. I had to go into coupon territory. I was like, I'm gonna figure this out right now. It took me about an hour to like get all down. I made these little business cards with our coupon on them, and then I got some stickers off Amazon. So I'm gonna make stickers tomorrow. Woo! Stickers. Send out with our orders. Get away. I need something else to list, friend. Okay, here's some pictures coming. Do you want to list the sweater? Yeah, if you want to look it up for me. Might as well. Might as well. What do you, what do you want me to look up? I can read you exactly the title. Yeah, let's Ho! Ho! Someone gave me a little table. Oh my god, hit me with the table. <laughs> All right. Oh, dang it. I forgot I have a camera. Sorry, There's that. We're going to hit 10. We're getting there. Doing it. That red discount in the search results is huge. Oh, wait. It gives you a search result coupon? I'm just going to do all the coupons. <laughs> I didn't know you got a red search result. Thank you for telling me that. It wasn't in the... What? I'm wondering if it's too thick for a bag. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, what am I doing? I'm giving you the name of this thing? I'm learning about search funds. You still have fake to you. I sent them to you. No. Pants. Oh. Maybe do a public coupon. All right, I'll add a public coupon. Don't think I won't. I'll add a public 10%. Do these all stack, though? Yeah, yeah, it all stacks. <laughs> yeah, well, you get a red number. Oh, my God. got to have a red number. I mean, with our sale, we have a red 15% off, I think. That shows up. Yeah, look at search results. What's the next step? Right, hold on. I'm gonna do this in just one second. I gotta. Uh, there's a way to go back because it's just like over brightness. I can't. I can't. I can't go back. Oh, uh, you can never go back. Why is it like that? Why? I just didn't want to do that. Dang it. Oh well. Okay. Too bad. So if you do a sale, it doesn't come up red. It just if you have a coupon. Is that correct? Right. <laughs> 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 Hi, mine here. Trying to decipher a fabric tie. What do you think? Pess means. 33% act. 33% pests, 18 bisque, 17 wool. Okay, wool, I got that. Viscose, got that. Acrylic, got that. Pests. Pests. P-E-S. P-E-S? Yeah. Polyester? No. Why? You're just using three letters. How else would you say polyester? No. Pester. Yeah. I think it's polyester. That's my final answer. Yeah. Anybody else? Pescatarian. <laughs> no. The coupon. Oh, Tommy's screaming. I like it. I'm here for this. No. The coupon does not stack with offers. No matter what YouTubers say, that's why I have to beat the coupon when sending offers a bit. Oh, so the coupon, so if you, you mean the offers you send? Yes. Oh, or if they send an offer, does it add a coupon? Does coupon not go to offers? No, I think that's what I'm saying. 
on both ends though them sending and you sending so if like i think if they send an offer they can't like ha, ha, get an extra 10 percent off yeah ha 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 yeah, i, I send you this offer and i get my coupon and sale and everything okay cool i got it check a rooney what fragrant put your thing in there no oh Women's, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yes, has this polyester. Uh, do you have a number for these? Five, six, six, two. So if a coupon is 10% off, you should send offers at like 10.1% off or more. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you would calculate that. Just send offers real quick on my phone. They're small. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're doing bulk offers, I don't do bulk offers, though. Maybe I should. No, I don't. Because I, I, you know what I do. I already explained it before. Sometimes I've had stuff sitting for a long time, and I'm like, I'm gonna send a royal aggressive offer and get this thing out of here. But if I did bulk, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't look at it. Or maybe if I'm doing all the coupons, because we're like, coupons. On city over here. Chicken. Didn't have a coupon. <laughs> hey. Oh lord. Couple, awesome. couple of people will get that maybe. Matt's not here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I gotta do store coupon. I'm gonna do store coupon. Okay, can you stack a store coupon? Can you stack coupons? Like, what if you have a QR code and a store coupon? I could look this up. I, unless anybody knows, I'll look it up. One. No, only one coupon may be used for purchase. Oh, that's so great. So if I just do like a store coupon that's public, that's all the time, and then the other people will be like, ooh, mm -hmm. mine is 20% off because I'm special, I better than this 10% off. Right. Ha -ha! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. <laughs> We're all excited. Yeah, it was hoping. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm working on it. And the sweater's the last one. The sweater. <laughs> skipping grab bags in no time <laughs> no 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 no. you know tommy used to be an extreme couponer so when you start talking coupons <laughs> my interest is peaked <laughs> i get coupons it's all about stacking coupons <laughs> oh man i knew all the stores where you could stack coupons ebay you can't stack coupons i just learned i just googled it Literally, the questions that people ask in these groups, I just Googled it and learned it in 4.2 seconds. It drives me crazy. All right. I'm going to list these. And then you're going to read me what this is called. Okay. Okay, what's it called? Stand by, please. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's, there's one pole in the front there. I'm going to get the one. Oh, yeah, okay. I can fix that. If you can conceal it, I can fix it. Perfect. i got to get the tool. Okay. 
Amanda's total, high bid total ended up being 108. Not bad, not bad. They didn't put tax on the invoice though, so they will add tax at pickup. Does anyone know? Um, do you have a re you don't have a reseller tax free situation? The coupon looks powerful. Oh, I love this. Okay, let me look at the search results. Hold on. Some fans not helping out. All right, I'm looking. Wait, let me put it in the other way. Whatever you call it, list mode, list view. Okay, do you need to do you need to read this to you? Yeah, I don't see a powerful coupon. It's in red. Does nobody coupon? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it is powerful. It's right here. I know. See. Okay. All Ready? right. I see. I see what you mean now. Thank you for your advice. Okay. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The title is VTG. That's well, vintage. I, I know that. Oh, 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 oh. You're giving me a listing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ralph Lauren Chaps. Knit cotton fair isle Aztec western sweater pullover. Okay. So it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Are these are sold? Sold. Yeah. Go to sold listing and filter it highest to lowest. Oh, well, this one's one forty nine. Is that it? Yeah. Is it extra large? No, this one's medium. There's only two now. I do have a reseller certificate. I wasn't sure it was accepted out of state auctions. They, I mean, almost everybody has one at ours. Yeah. It's very, very common. It, it's weird at thrift stores here. For when we pull it out, they're like, "Yeah, how, we have to get the manager." But at estate sales, they're like, "Tax form." <laughs> they know. So it's pretty cool that they didn't add it. So you want to list us at the same? But mm -hmm. we got coupons and stuff. Yeah, we got coupons. So we gotta we gotta increase gotta it a little inflate bit. It. We gotta inflate it a little bit. And there's none listed. Uh oh, we gotta inflate it. <laughs> double inflate. Double inflate. Stack it. <laughs> stack it. Size medium, right? Size medium. My ten percent coupon that I started July first has been part of over Seventy-two hundred dollars for sale. Wow, that's great. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Megan. <laughs> the migraine's coming back. It seems to correlate with my kids being brats and fighting with each other. <laughs> sorry, sweetie. Eee, bedtime. It's almost bedtime. What um, number is it? Five six six three. So we're almost done, and we did what Tommy said not to do, but we did it. <laughs> and we listed all of our high dollar stuff in one night, and that's fine. Whatever, it is all here. It's all in our rack. It's better than not listing anything. We we got it done. Anyway, we listed like a nine hundred dollar jacket, an eight hundred dollar dress, six hundred and fifty dollar sweater, which I'm gonna mark up to two hundred dollars. Yes. <laughs> you made me alone. That my price inflation. Winter's coming. It sold in one hundred and fifty. You know what, though? In the last 90 days, it's over $150 in the summertime. So That's right. it's going to be worth more in the wintertime. People got ski chalets to go to. Yeah. A <laughs> place called Aspen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. You know it. And then once I put the coupon, and then once I send them a coupon, they're going to come back and buy something else. Because <laughs> it's not just going to be 10%, it's going to be 20%. And then tomorrow, during the day, I'm going to draft more. So tomorrow night, we're just as ready as we were tonight. And that's going to be great. Marvelous. That will be, so we had two nights already of pre-draft. And I think it's, it's working out well. And I'm going to steam stuff. What? I have some stuff that I haven't been able to draft. It needs to be steamed. I'm going to store my coupon for a week and only got 19.58 in sales with the coupon. Oh, my God. Oh gosh. Oh man. Well, you don't know if you don't try, right? I'm gonna try. It's ten more percent. I'm telling you the offers I send to people are aggressive. <laughs> so it'll be like I don't know, sixty on sale it'll be a sixty nine ninety nine item and then on sale it'll be like 
52 or something and then I'll send a $44 offer. I always do the next I do the next 10 digit down doubled. It's like 44, 33, 22, 11. That's not right. It's all basic. Strict business facts. Not at all. I just think people like double duplicate numbers, so I'll try that. I mean, it kind of works. I do it all the time. I just said maybe I should mix it up, but I never do. Tonight I'm missing all A6 and Saucony. Saucony. You say Saucony or Saucony? Anyway. Saucony. You say Saucony, too, yeah. right? That's what I say. But some people on YouTube say Saucony. Saucony. Anyway, I'm not saying that. <laughs> the bottom of the barrel. Tomorrow when I get another load, I'll be back to the monies. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, we just listed the, the most expensive things we had, basically. I mean, we still have more expensive things, but the most expensive things we have ready all at one time, you know. Oh well. And if it doesn't sell, I'll just relist it in 90 days. It'll be fine. It'll be just yeah. fine. You're It'll right. Fine. Just gotta keep keep things moving. Six three. Fifty with an average. <laughs> Last one, everybody check in. What'd you get done? What'd you get done? Don't erase the white before. Take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. Cameron's doing a coupon. Cameron's coupon with a K. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired, y'all. You know, I print out these business cards that I got at the thrift in a junk bag. And I put a coupon on, I photoshopped it under the business card. <laughs> yeah, Cameron's coupon. That's what your promo code need to be. Oh. All right, here we go. One ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? That's it. Okay, now we're gonna go over here. Yeah. Web not venue. And we are going to import these ten items. Let's do it. Everybody's. Everybody's editing their coupons. Everybody's launching coupons. Yes. Yes. All right, that's a nice little dent in there. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Better. I like it. How many items do we have left? Like, are am I crazy that we can get this done this week? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A bunch of bras. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, something like that. Wow. Yeah. So between that and the shoes. Because these, these are returns that just have to get bought back in. So you can do that tomorrow. You huh? said um, I have to keep this Eileen Fisher coat. You're not going to wear that. Are you going to wear it? <laughs> You're not going to wear that. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty styling. <laughs> what are you going to wear? Around the house? Yeah. Like a robe? Like a robe. No belt. No. I'm not wear it. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys, we're gonna finish importing these, and we got ten done. That was yes. our goal. Yes. And if any of them sells overnight, or if anybody wins the Powerball, yeah, come on. 
sprinkle of magic dust to win. If you haven't bought your ticket, I don't know when they draw it, but you better go get a ticket. I think it's over. I think you missed it. Oh, do we win? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> what time does the Powerball go? I think it's a 10. So Eastern 10? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't. I don't Did know. anyone win Powerball? No one's saying. You're not supposed to say. Maybe someone yeah, did. You don't say. Maybe someone actually did that. <sighs> Give a wink face if maybe you did. <laughs> what if somebody we knew on eight hundred fifty million dollars? Does your app tell us if we won? How does a coupon work with a sale? I do think a coupon stacks on top of a sale. Because they have to go in and put a promo code. That The coupon is a promo code, and you can't put two promo codes. But with the sale, you don't need a promo code. So I'm pretty sure the sale and the coupon stack. So inevitably, if we have a 15% off sale, and then we do a 10% coupon, it's going to be 25% off. That's how I think it works. Yeah, it should tell me if I won. Did we win? Yeah. I don't, I don't think the drawing's happened yet. Or maybe it has. I don't. Who knows what time the drawing is? Google knows. Good night, Ruth. Thanks, everybody, Good for night, hanging. Good night, Megan. Good night, Cameron. Amanda, good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we'll see everybody tomorrow. Thanks for hanging. Bye. Bye, bye.